Hello, my name's Julie and welcome to the video diary uh, for Julie Loses, which is my weight loss blog. Um, this is Benny, Benny the Boston Terrier. He'll be two years old in June and he's very tired because he had the whole day to himself in the bedroom and he barked so much. I'm recording this. I don't even know if I'm going to post it. Um, I wasn't tagged, but I came across another weight loss vlogger who had this posted a while ago and and I thought the idea was interesting and I love taking quizzes. One of my one of my um, kind of guilty pleasures is taking those BuzzFeed quizzes on Facebook. Uh, you put a quiz in front of me and I will take it. It's some aspect of narcissism I'm pretty sure. I saw this and it was a list of like 50 questions and I thought that it would be a good way for me to um, I guess introduce myself to some people if, if you're new to the vlog or you're just a random stranger and and like to to you know kind of get into what other people are into then that's cool so here we go um, what am I wearing I am wearing my workout clothes I'm wearing a sports bra I'm wearing a, um, a v-neck t-shirt that I got from Lane Bryant probably you know, 10 years ago. And I'm wearing some yoga pants from Old Navy. Uh, I actually went to Old Navy today to get some more uh, because they sent out an email blast that said they were having a big activewear sale. But when I got there, they didn't have any of the yoga pants that I like, so. And lastly, I'm wearing my Nike athletic shoes that I wear to the gym. So, um, I'm also wearing underwear, but no one wants to know about that. Uh, ever been in love? Yes. Um, uh, I am currently seeing somebody. Well, seeing is kind of weird. We are, um, we're basically domestic partners. Um, he and I have been living together for about seven years and we've been dating almost 10 years. Have I ever had a terrible breakup? Nope. I didn't have a whole lot of experience before I got together with my partner. Um, and any, any, um, relationships that I had were so short-lived and breakups were usually just like, you know, not returning a phone call or something and then never hearing from them again. The fourth question is how tall am I? I am five foot two inches, I think, on a good day. Um, so I'm very tall. How much do I weigh? I, as of this morning, I weigh 206 pounds, which was the same... I was yesterday morning and I only know that because I am a weight loss vlogger slash blogger and slash person who's interested in my weight so I weigh myself rather frequently. Any tattoos? Indeed I do. I guess it counts as two tattoos because I had them done not at the same time and it's on my wrist here. Uh, it started out as being sort of like a tribal, you know, this was done in the, the mid 90s so it was like a tribal tattoo and then I saved the under of the wrist to try to figure out um, what I wanted there. I was originally thinking about having like, I don't know what's going on with the light. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my camera, but uh, the light just got really weird, so I apologize. Uh, let me tap it. Let's see if this works. Come on, tap. Hey, look, I fixed it. Yay. Oh, I didn't fix it. Yeah, so I was originally going to get like the Weezer W logo from that band. Um, I'm so glad I didn't. I mean, I really like Weezer and I still like them, but I don't like them enough to have a tattoo of their logo on my arm. But I did get the pie symbol um, and it's mirrored, so that's why it looks weird. Let's go ahead and tap this again. Check it out. It's in black and white. Uh, the color thing is kind of weird and I do not know what's going on and I could not look at that really orangey tone so I decided to switch us over to black and white, yes. Alright, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my tattoo. I got the pie symbol tattooed on me. Um, I'm not really that much of a math nerd. In fact, I'm really, really bad at math, but I read um, Carl Sagan's Contact and it had such a profound impact on me and I really love Carl Sagan and everything that he was about and his his uh, novel 
just had such an interesting spin on pi as a transcendental number and and it turned to like the digits of pi could be converted to binary and then that you know that spelled out an you know intergalactic encyclopedia or something like it was just it was kind of off the wall but it was really interesting and and really kind of meshed with me this idea of you know numbers being beautiful uh, it just really resonated with me so that's that's my tattoo any piercings um i had gotten my ears pierced when i was about eight years old and i never was really into wearing earrings so um, they closed up by the time I was in high school OTP I don't know what OTP means because I'm old obviously um, but I can't answer the next question my favorite show um, see I said I could answer it but now I'm gonna have trouble I watch a lot of television shows I really love Parks and Rec Parks and Recreation I think it is an adorable show I think Parks and Rec is, is just such a kind-spirited comedy, um, so I don't try to miss that. Uh, I also we re really like Portlandia. Um, I watch Game of Thrones. I watch, um, gosh, we got into True Detective. Um, I really love French and Saunders, which was an old um, British kind of comedy special series. Uh, throughout the 80s and 90s and 2000s, but um, no one's ever heard of that. Uh, I like AbFab, things like that. So I'm sure I missed something really obvious that I absolutely love, but there's too many to name. Um, favorite bands. You know, everyone says so many bands, and I have a few bands that I really, really, really like. Hello, sweetie. How you doing? Um, first thing that comes to mind is Radiohead. Uh, I really like Bjork. I really like, um, Madonna. I mean, I was into Madonna when I was a little kid, and that kind of is still going. Um, I like Lady Hawk. I'm kind of just talking about what I'm listening to now. Um, Dave Bazan and his work in Pedro the Lion as well. Um, <sighs> Weezer, um, lots of different stuff. Something I miss, I miss the sunshine of living in Southern California. We moved up to Washington State about seven years ago, I think, back in 2007, and um, I, I really miss all that sunshine, but I tell you what, the cool thing about living in Seattle is that when it does get sunny, everyone gets ecstatic and it's like a theme park. Everyone's so happy. People are skipping down the street holding hands. Favorite song? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say what my absolute favorite song is. I can tell you what I'm listening to right now. And that is um, Starships by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> right now, it's my workout jam. I get that song playing, and I just, it, it, it fuels something in me. And then it's also on Just Dance. So I, I do the, um, the Just Sweat version on, on Just Dance 2014. So I'm really liking that song right now. How old am I? Well, contrary to um, the example I just gave about my favorite song, I'm actually pretty old. <laughs> um, I'm 38. I'll be 39 in June. Um, zodiac sign, I am a cancer. My mother used to like telling me that I was a cancer. A quality I look for in a partner. Um, someone who will have me? No. <laughs> uh, smart, funny. Being smart and funny is good. Favorite quote? Um, for a long time I had the following quote on like Facebook or something. It was, when in doubt, give. And it was Bjork. Um, I'm sure there are other quotes, but that's the one that kind of sticks with me. Favorite actor? I have actors and actresses who 
I will try to see anything they're in. Uh, when I was younger, I loved Winona Ryder, um, but it's been a really long time since she's done anything, so. Um, I really like Kate Winslet, um, and that's all I can think of right now, so let's say Kate Winslet. Favorite color, blue. Um, if you had to, if you held me down and said, pick a blue, it would be the electric blue that my Mini Cooper is colored, so. Loud music or soft? Um, both at different times. <laughs> so it doesn't say loud music or quiet music, it just says loud music or soft. And I like both loud music and I like soft music, so both. Where do I go when I'm sad? Um, to bed usually? <laughs> How long does it take me to shower? Entirely too long. It's like 30 minutes at least. You know, I got long hair, so I have to wash my hair. I have to condition my hair. Then my body is like, it takes forever to, to like, wash myself off. I think I just enjoy the hot water and I kind of kick around in there. And then I wash my face. And if I'm shaving that day, I've got to, you know, that adds, you know, another hour or so. No, it, it's, it takes me entirely too long. I hear people who say it takes them like 10 minutes to shower and I'm so jealous. How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? Well, add the shower time to, I mean, actually getting dressed only takes me like, you know, five, five, 10 minutes to get everything on, put my shoes on. I don't wear makeup because I'm a fancy lady like that. And um, I don't do much with my hair. So if I'm gonna blow dry my hair, it takes me, let's say it takes me like um, an hour altogether. It doesn't include like getting breakfast ready or anything like that. So it takes me way too long. For someone who does not wear makeup and doesn't do their hair, it takes me way too long. Have I ever been in a physical fight? Um, well, I grew up with three younger brothers. So yes, um, if I ever fought with anybody that I wasn't immediately related to? No. Um, I couldn't even really fight my brothers. I, you know, I don't have it in me to, to actually hit somebody. A turn on, smarts and humor. I mean, it's a lot about the qualities I look for in a partner, obviously. Um, I think the question may, could go in a different direction, but I don't want to take it there. Um, turn off, um, someone who's a mean drunk, that's a turn off. The reason I joined YouTube, uh, I have two YouTube accounts. I have my, my old one and then I have one that's specifically for my weight loss blog. And, uh, I joined originally because I think I just wanted to, um, like bookmark videos that I liked. Um, so, nothing crazy there. Fears. Oh boy, this is fun. I have lots of interesting fears. I'm afraid of heights, um, which I haven't always been afraid of heights. Well, maybe I have, but now I'm, I'm much more afraid of heights. Um, and I also have some like weird, irrational fears, and they're not really phobias. They're more like things I try to avoid or that I'm nervous about. And one of those things is... Um, uh, horizontal blinds, mini blinds. I have this fear that when I, when I engage the pole to lift them up or lay them down, they're gonna like fall on me. I think it happened when I was a kid. And so uh, another thing that I, I I'm kind of afraid of are are the dark sides of swimming pools. Like if if a pool is in the shade, I have like. I don't like being in the shady part of the pool. It like, freaks me out. Last thing that made me cry, uh, I was reading a book the other day and um, there was a, a story that they talked about in the book that, that um, kind of, you know, turned the waterworks on. So I think it involved like putting down an old horse and it was just, oh, it was awful. Last time I said I loved someone was probably about a half hour before I shot this. Uh, I told 
I told my dog I loved him. Mm. The meaning behind my YouTube name. Well, it's Julie Loses. My first name is Julie. And I am losing weight. Julie Loses. It's kind of meant to be a little tongue-in-cheek, a little self-deprecating. Last book I read. Uh, well, that was the, the aforementioned book. It was Wild by Cheryl Strayer. It's uh, her story of, of her walk along the Pacific Crest Trail. Book I'm currently reading, I just started reading The Shift Omnibus by Hugh Howey. It's a post-apocalyptic book. And those are my favorite kind of books. Post-apocalyptic fiction is just, I love it. Last show I watched. The last show I remember watching on TV was the um, episode of Game of Thrones from Sunday. I think I watched it on Monday. And I think I've just been watching YouTube videos ever since. So, last person I talked to. Um, there was the lady at the grocery store. Um, she asked me if I needed help out to my car, and I said no. So that's the last person I talked to. Um, the relationship between me and the person I last texted. Well, my partner, uh, I texted him that I was home and the dog had not died. Uh, my favorite food. Well, my favorite food type is Mexican food. Um, and But my favorite specific food that I've ever had is, um, God, I had this tenderloin filet, beef tenderloin, up at um, the Chateau at Lake Louise, their restaurant, and it was just the most exquisitely cooked piece of meat I've ever had, and so delectable, so buttery, and I, every filet inspire, you know, aspires to be as good as that one, so... That is my favorite food. Place I want to visit. Oh, there's all kinds of places I want to visit. Um, I want to go to New Zealand. I want to go to the South Island of New Zealand and and um, just hike around and see the beautiful the beautiful scenery. Um, but I would love to go a whole lot of places. I want to travel a lot more than I have. Uh, the other place that I want to go that's probably more reasonable is on Vancouver Island in Canada, which is just a little bit northwest of here. Um, there's this trail. It's a, a wild Pacific trail. And we're actually going to Victoria, which is on the island, but we're not going to be able to make it up and inland enough to be able to visit this trail, but I would really like to visit there. Last place I was. Last place you were. Um, well, the last place I was was at the grocery store, but that's not very fun. So let's say the last place I visited, um, it has been a really long time since I've gone out of town at all. <laughs> um, I think it was probably... Uh, Southern California, Laguna Bay Beach area. A few Thanksgivings ago, we went down to visit the parents. Do I have a crush? Hmm. I have girl crushes. Uh, it's kind of a thing. Um, let's see. The most recent girl crush was that actress from Pitch Perfect, who was the redhead in the movie, and I can't think of her name. She played Chloe in Pitch Perfect. Last time I kissed someone was like an hour ago. It was my dog. Uh, last time I was insulted. Um, I can't. I can't think of the last time I was insulted. Nope. Can't answer that. I can't think of it. I'm. Um. Yeah. Let's move on to question number forty-two. <laughs> um. My favorite flavor of sweet. It's cinnamon right now. Um, I enjoy cinnamon on so many things and it does have a sweetness to it. So cinnamon ice cream, love it, can have it, but love it. Um, ooh, cinnamon froyo, I think that would be really good. I have cinnamon tea. Um, 
I love cinnamon bread, cinnamon raisin stuff. I just picked up some cinnamon raisi raisin Ezekiel bread. So um, yeah, cinnamon is a sweet flavor that I'm enjoying at the moment. What instruments do I play? Oh boy, I play lots of instruments. I grew up in a musical household and we were always encouraged to play musical instruments. So um, first instrument I started playing was the piano. I play a little bit, I don't know it very well. Uh, I also played flute in junior high school, and then I switched to drums, and so I played all percussion and drums, mallet instruments, things like that. I was actually really into it in high school, um, and then uh, picked up guitar. I can basically pick up uh, any instrument and get some nice sounding notes out of it. It's just a thing. Um, I'm not like a master of any, but I'm pretty good at anything. Favorite piece of jewelry? Well, I don't wear jewelry. So, um... So, I don't have one. Hmm. Last sport I played. Um, well, let's not count, like, workouts, but over the weekend I played catch, which I don't know if it's, it's a sport. I've played basketball with my trainer. Uh, we go down to the basketball courts at the gym and uh, we shoot hoops and I run around like a tool. Um, last song I sang. What was that last song I was just going, um, I don't think that's a song. Last song I sang though was Starships by Nicki Minaj. No, no it wasn't. It came on after, it was Applause by Lady Gaga, which is next on the, play the workout playlist. And it was playing in my car and I sang along to it very loudly in my car. Favorite chat up line? Um, I don't know if that means pickup line or like how to get a conversation started, maybe. I don't have one. I'm terribly socially inept and awkward. And um, how are ya? You know, how's it going? That's, that's it. I mean, it's fascinating, but that's it. Have I ever used it? Yeah, sure. How are ya? Um, last time I hung out with anyone, I hang out with my partner all the time, um, but we live together, so I don't know if that counts. Um, again, terribly socially inept, uh, I hang out with my trainer, but she's paid to be there. Um, yeah, I don't, don't really hang. Uh, who should answer these questions next? Um, I would really like my dog Benny to answer these questions because I would really like to know, um, you know, if he likes loud music or soft music. I think that's important. And, um, I'd love to know who his favorite bands are. I think that would be really interesting. And bands always come to Seattle, so if we can, you know, take him to one of the shows that he likes, I think that would be nice. So, that is my TMI question and answer session, and I, uh, I appreciate, if you've actually watched this, I appreciate you being there and tolerating the color shifts and, um, me being a dork and my dog snoring, um, and until next time, take care.